So far this wet season, we've seen the rains coming through, but not as we usually expect them to. As we've seen that since June and July, the rainfall has been below normal. And out towards August, uh, we've just started. We've had 75 millimeters, but most of that has actually been falling just over a couple of days. Now, for this time of the year, we usually expect about 264 millimeters uh, for the month of August in Trinidad. And hopefully we could be seeing some of that rainfall being added over the next uh, few days. And the main reason is that we have a couple of tropical waves. One are just out there in the Atlantic, midway between us and Africa, and another one coming across the Gang. As this one is set to affect us as we go through tomorrow. So we could be seeing uh, that tropical wave pushing across eastern Caribbean. Rainfall amounts maybe 20, maybe 25 millimeters in the places. And then yet another tropical wave is set to come by late on Saturday. But in between, we'll have the intertropical convergence zone around set to bring us some longer spells of rain. And that's good news for farmers as well as the reservoirs. And then that ITCZ will extend out towards the Atlantic possibly through Sunday. So you could be seeing some more rainfall for the rest of the weekend. So for overnight in the Trinidad and Tobago, partly cloudy start. But look for the showers to come through occasionally after midnight, going into the first part of the day, especially for first thing in the morning. If you're commuting, look for those heavier showers. There's a likelihood, 70% chance of that happening, especially across the hillsides of Tobago. And with those uh, heavy showers, the uh, street or flash flooding likely, as well as gusty winds will accompany some of those downpours. So be mindful about that as you go through your Thursday morning and afternoon, especially along the hillsides of the northern range in Trinidad and out towards Tobago. For central and southern areas of Trinidad, still looking for showery spells and again, the high chance of a thunder shower that could be on the heavy side as you go through your mid-morning and into it the afternoon. Temperature-wise, we're looking at lows of 24 degrees Celsius for Trinidad tonight and tomorrow, 31 degrees Celsius will be the high. Now, once we leave that tropical wave on Thursday, could be seeing just a bit of a break, a few showers coming through around uh, Trinidad, especially less so for Tobago on Friday. And then on Saturday, that second tropical wave will make inroads bring, again, spells of rain, heavy showers, as well as those thunder showers. And that could extend into Sunday with the intertropical convergence zone lingering through the weekend. Now for fisher folk and uh, bathers, as that tropical wave pushes through, you'll notice those easterly winds that begin to shift to the east-southeast as you go through late on the Thursday. Gentle for the most part, but in those downpours, gusty winds are likely 20, 25 knots are possible as you go through your day on Thursday and possibly through till Friday. Now, it seems as though for the rest of the Caribbean, out towards the Great Antilles, they've been seeing quite a bit of sunshine, a tinge of haze as well. There's some Saharan dust around Hispaniola. Some of that will come into Jamaica, also whipping up the winds across uh, Kingston, so quite windy there at 32 degrees Celsius. For Havana, it's rainy, and obviously there will also be some rains for the eastern part of the Caribbean, from uh, Dominica all the way down to St. Lucia, into Barbados, St. Vincent, and Grenada. And to Georgetown, they'll be on the southern side of this activity, but they'll still see a few showers up from time to time but for us definitely looking for that tropical wave to bring some of those the heavy downpours and the likelihood of street or flash flooding tomorrow so that's your weather and that's the firmly